Hello, it's June here again. Um, same time, same place, same hair, same clothes, everything the same um, because my last video was recorded about five minutes ago. So um, this is just going to be fairly quick. and I'm not going to waffle too much about this one. This is just to wrap up my foundation review series, which was, I think, nine videos um, covering all the different foundations that I have trying them all out and seeing which ones I really thought were worth buying again and which ones really need to just get used up and then move on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I will start with liquid foundations and the three, no, there's two, I have two here that I think I will definitely buy again. These were the two that I really liked that I thought gave me the best coverage um lasted the longest um gave me the least problems with oiliness and um matched my skin tone and yeah just were generally good good performers and the, the best one of all of them i tried was the clarence um everlasting foundation spf 15 and i have it in the shade 103 which is i think possibly the lightest may not be the lightest shade but i think it might be um this lasted all day it looked really good um a very little goes a long way um it it certainly is mattifying um it, it's just very forgiving of your skin i think um and i really loved this foundation so this gets my number one recommendation now I don't own any MAC foundations. Um, I don't, uh, you know, I've, I, I've tried, but I did re review Sheer Glow. I did review um, HD, the Makeup Forever HD. They're all really nice foundations and I like them. And I rated them very highly. But I have to say in terms of just being able to put on a foundation and go out and know it's gonna last all day, this was the winner. Another one I really, really love is the Dior Skin Nude. I am mad about this foundation. This is in the shade 20. I think you might be able to get it in a lighter shade than this. French brands are always going to be a little bit darker than I'd like. But this one matches me quite well. Um, this is extremely natural looking. It gives you gorgeous, gorgeous natural coverage. Um, it lasts quite well. Not as well as the Clarins. Um... But a very, very natural, beautiful foundation, almost indetectable on the skin and certainly doesn't get cause problems with oiliness at all. So I really love this one as well. And, and these two, I think I would definitely if I ran out of either of those now, they're both quite full. <laughs> so it's not going to happen for a while. But either of those, I would want these again. Love them. The biggest disappointment, um, I have to say, was the Chanel Pro Lumiere. And I was really looking forward to using this when I bought it. I was excited about trying it. The shade, the lightest shade is a little too dark for me. Um, you can see it's yellowish. Um, didn't last very well. It went as oily as hell on my skin. And I just was let down and disappointed by that because it is so costly. Um, and I bought it in two different shades <laughs> because I got the wrong one the first time. So I will be probably giving these away to my sister. My older sister is going to love these. Um, somebody with dry skin would probably just lap that up. Probably just love it. It does give a nice dewy finish, but it's just too dewy for me. There's a difference between dewy and oil slick. And I crossed the line into oil slick. Um, so, yeah, unfortunate. But maybe in 10 years it might suit me, but not now. Um, OK, so that's those. The two cream foundations I would definitely keep in my life um, would be firstly the Cryolan, and this is very, very battered looking package, Cryolan Ultra Foundation. I think this is probably my favourite foundation of all of them. Um, it is just unbelievably amazing. It's extremely pigmented. You get such amazing coverage from that. Completely buildable. Um, use a beauty blender sponge and you can do whatever you want with that foundation. You can have a sheer amount of cover. You can have full coverage. It looks really natural. 
It's got a huge range of shades and it's very, very inexpensive. I think that cost me about 14 euro or something along those lines. You know, it 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 um it does have that cryolan smell, the sort of rosy cryolan smell. If you don't like that, it's not for you. But if you can live with that, I would definitely try this foundation. It's terrific. Second one I am definitely keeping in my life is my Shuamura Nobara foundation stick. Um, I just love this foundation. I love it. Um, this one is actually in the slightly darker shade that I would use maybe for summertime. You see it's very yellowy looking on me there. Um, but I'd use that in the summer if I darken up a little bit, you know. Um, I have it in a lighter shade as well. Just the most gorgeous, matte, natural looking finish. Again, very, very customizable, but very pigmented. You can use it as a concealer as well. So it's multi-purpose. It's dead handy. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it because it's just a lovely product and it's a cult classic really, isn't it? I mean, it's a classic. Everyone likes this one. Um, well, that I've heard of <laughs> and I really like that. So I would give that my hearty recommendation. And just for cream foundations, then the one that I would not buy again would be the makeup designery. Um, the reason being that for me, it just is, it's really hard to work with. It's like, I'm rubbing like mad here. It's just so sticky. It doesn't want to come out of the pan. Um, and when you get it up, it's nice. Now this shade's too light for me, but that's not really important. It's, I don't know. I just would find it very hard to blend that on the skin. Um, because even on your sponge, it's not coming up onto your sponge that easily, even if you dampen the sponge. Um, so once you get it on your face it's not bad it is a little bit cakey it does separate a little bit on the skin i wasn't over i was not bowled over by it so yeah i i probably won't be buying that one again for mineral foundations the one that i love the most and i have tried loads of them the best one is the purely cosmetics go to purely cos uh, purelycosmetics.com and look at their range of found of foundations mineral foundations they are the best out there and I would I would put my hand on my heart and say that. So I, d I just don't have it out here to show you, but I only have samples anyway, but they are terrific. So that's it. I just didn't want to make this too long because my last video went on for about 12 hours. Um, that Those are my conclusions anyway. Um, those are the foundations I want to use at the moment. Um, I am going to use them all up. And my next project, <laughs> I think, is going to be uh, primers because I do have a lot of primers. So I'm going to use my favorite cream and my favorite liquid foundation alternate days with the same primer and tell you what I think. And that just keeps me going, gives me something to work on and stops me being too rambly and disorganized. So that's my plan. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. You can watch all the other reviews. They are there. And um most of the foundations I reviewed were excellent. Most of them were excellent, but these are my favorites. So if you have combination skin, fairly oily in the T-zone, um, dry on the cheeks, um, uh, mid to late 30s, early 40s, uh, you will probably like those foundations. So um, yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye bye.